Hey learners, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on human resource planning. Before we start the video, it's a humble request. Please subscribe to my channel so that whenever I come up with any video, you will directly get the notification. Now without wasting more time, let's come to the video. Human resource planning is a process that identifies current and future human requirements or we can say human resources needs for an organization to achieve its objective. Human resource planning should serve as a link between human resource management and overall strategic plan of an organization. Human resource planning is a continuous process of systematic planning ahead to achieve optimum resource of an organization's most valuable asset which is employee because without employee it is difficult to even uh, think of producing or starting any uh, manufacturing process or starting any services or product within an organization because this is the human who actually use the machine or the resources and they give uh, resources a shape in the form of finished goods or services so here we can say Human resource planning ensures the best fit between employees and jobs while avoiding manpower shortage or surplus because it is very important to uh, fulfill the requirements of manpower within an organization and they need to make sure that organization uh, uh, have uh, right amount of people because if they have surplus employees then they have to pay more salary or uh, and it will lead to more uh, uh, more expenses and every organization wants to produce goods and services at the cheap and the best uh, amount and uh, hence it is very important to appoint um, sufficient number of employees which is needed to uh, accomplish the organization objective now after understanding what is human resource planning we will see definition given by authors for human resource planning According to Ubeter, human resource planning is the process by which management determines how the organization should move from its current manpower position to its desired manpower position. Through planning, management uh, strives to have right time doing things which result in both the organization and individual receiving maximum long run benefits. And this is true. We even plan to have a long time uh, benefit, not for uh, even for a quick, but uh, generally in organization, we see whatever they are doing or whatever plan they are making, especially when it's about human resource, they are keeping in uh, in their mind for long run so that they can uh, because we all know within an organization, you have to train, you have to uh, spend your time making them aware about what they have to do, how they have to do. So it is important that you will take uh, as much as benefit from those employee because you have spent your time and energy training them. So it is important to think about the long run benefits. According to Gordon Macbeth, human resource planning is concerned with two things. First, planning of manpower requirements and second, planning of manpower supplies. According to Beach, human resource planning is a process of determining and ensuring that the organization will have an adequate number of qualified persons available at proper time, performing jobs which meet the needs of organization, I mean uh, needs of enterprise and which provide satisfaction for the individuals involved. So here uh, you can understand that this author is saying that we have to make sure that we appoint, we hire qualified person uh, who will be there at a proper time whenever it is required because in day-to-day -day life we have seen within an organization there is number of uh, requirements someone have to print someone have to uh, attend the call someone have to uh, submit the files so it is important that at that moment that person is present otherwise that uh, work will be hampered that work will be affected so here he wants to say that 
So here simply we can say human resource planning can be understood as a process of forecasting an organization's future demands and supply for right type of people in the right number. In other words, human resource planning is a process of determining manpower needs and formulating plans to meet those needs. Okay. Here we can see that we can conclude human resource planning in four phased process. First phase involves the gathering and analysis of data through manpower inventories and forecast. Second phase consists of establishing manpower objectives and policies and gathering top management approval of these. Third phase involves designing and implementing plans and promotions to enable the organization to achieve its manpower objectives. And last, fourth phase is concerned with control and evaluation of manpower plans to facilitate progress in order to benefit both organization as well as the individual. The long run views means that gain may be sacrificed in the short run for future ground. The planning process enables the organization to identify what its manpower needs is and what potential manpower problems required in current action. This, lead to be, uh, this leads to more effective and efficient performance. So here we can say that these are the four phased process which is involved in human resource planning. In our next video, we will see objective of human resource planning, needs of human resource planning. So don't forget to check my another part on human resource planning because we are going to deal all parts of human resource planning so that you can give your answers completely. So now I will take leave from you guys. Have a nice day. Bye.